Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Archer. That's paularcher.com. Um, you probably notice I don't have an awful lot of hair these days. It's thinning out of the back and all those good things. But once a month, I like to get down to the barbers because that's what we do. And the barbers cuts your hair. But also the barbers is a man's domain. Women never go in there unless, of course, they're cutting hair. A man's domain where you can have a chat with somebody who's never going to disagree with you, who's always going to have a viewpoint on something, and therefore you can have a good old conversation. And the other day I was in the barbers and uh, I was chatting away and we were talking about the demise of various shops in the high street. Um, across the road, uh, we saw the card shop had closed. Uh, we saw the estate agent had closed. The school clothing shop had closed. And all these shops, of course, had closed for various reasons, one or the other. And on the other hand, of course, shops had opened up. Costa Coffee had moved in, doing a roaring trade. Uh, the local butchers had expanded since the horse meat scandal. And uh, we were kind of talking about it, and I asked my barber friend for a piece of wisdom. I said, you know, what's the cause of all of this? And he looked at me, he said, uh, you've got to change with the times, he said. You've got to change with the times. And he's absolutely right. But the point is that change has always occurred. OK, we've got the internet now, which has uh, probably caused the demise of the card shop, where you've got moonpig.com and funky pigeon and all these good things. But in the past, you've had the motor car in the early 20th century. That caused a huge amount of change, isn't it? The telegraph in the 19th century. There's change all the time, and you've got to be constantly changing. So my message really to you is, how are you changing? How are you preparing to change? For example, I'm looking to get touch typing lessons at the moment because I feel that touch typing is such an important part of the future. OK, it's a small piece of self-development, but it's what I'm looking to do. Um, embrace change. It's exciting, it's fun, but you must always be ahead of the curve knowing what kind of change is going on. And right now, of course, the biggest change is the internet and communications using the internet. I'm not talking about um, phoning people up or, or texting or emailing people. I'm talking about full-blown video online with customers using their iPhones, their, their tablets or whatever. That's the FaceTime, that's the future of sales. And holographic stuff will come in five, ten years' time. So be prepared for it. Um, did my barber have any more wisdom to offer? Not really. Uh, did I argue with him? Not really. He had his cutthroat razor in his hand at the time, so I'm unwilling to, to argue with a man with a cutthroat razor. Hope you found that useful. I'm Paul Archer, paularcher.com. Bye.